Welcome, I've previously installed this Rangy 1 core system in my 2021 KZ Escape E17 hatch. In this video I'm going to be setting up the leveling feature, so if you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description, and if you use that link it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So this controller here has monitoring for my solar, for my battery, but it also has a feature built in to help you level your camper. So you can use this control panel to help you level your RV, but typically you would probably log in on your phone so you can do it from your vehicle. So I'm going to go to the settings icon and I'll go to RV leveling. I'll tap on that. Now it's already trying to give me some advice on what I need to do, but I haven't calibrated it yet. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually level my camper. So there are many ways to do this. You could level the countertop. It's probably not a bad idea. I'm going to level where the axle is. Now before you level side to side, I would level front to back first. So if I'm leveling at the axle, and there's a wheel well back here, so I can tell that the axle is right around here on my floor. So I'll level front to back first, just to get it in the ballpark at least. And then I'll switch it side to side. So we need to raise the right side. And I say the right side, that's the right side of this camera, but it's actually the left side of the camper. So I'll show you how I'm going to do that. And I would start off on as level of ground as you can get when you're doing this. It's going to make it a lot easier. So in order to level this, I'm just putting a jack under the axle. Now I will not go under this. If you don't have a jack stand under it, you should definitely not crawl under it, but there's no need to here. I'm just gonna jack it up, you know, a quarter inch or so, and the tire probably won't even come off the ground. But putting a jack under the low side, you can really dial this in. So I'll give this a little bit of a pump, and I'll go check it, and I'm gonna go back and forth until it's level. So I have a little bit more to go here. Now if you had two people, you could have someone lift it while you're watching it. Okay, so I overshot it a little bit and I backed off, and this is as good as I need it to be. Looks like it's a tiny bit high on the right side, but there could be a grain of sand under the right side of the level also. So I'm going to leave it at that. Now this is a newer jack, and I know it holds pressure. If you have an older jack, it might leak a little bit, and it might droop back down, so you want to do this quickly before it settles. So now I'll switch to the other direction, and it looks like I need to raise the tongue just a little bit. I've installed an electric tongue jack, otherwise you would crank it, so I'll just lift it a tiny bit. I need to lift it a little bit more, so I'm going to go back and forth until that's level. Okay, so I'm going to call that good enough. Now I'll recheck the other dimension and make sure it's still level, and that's good enough for me. So we'll head back to the control panel, and I'll go up here to the gear in the upper right. So before we calibrate, we're going to make sure we have the installation orientation correct. So you tap on that, and you tell the app which direction you have the Renji One Core oriented. So this is facing towards the front of the camper, so I have this one selected. Now we can do the calibration, and we'll say calibrate, so it says do not move the core. And now it's showing leveled on both dimensions. So here I have the app on my iPad. This is similar to on the iPhone. So I'll drag it down so we're activated. So I can tap on Rangy One Core and it's gonna show RV leveling. I'll tap on it. It's going to connect to the One Core. And here you can see we're at zero on both dimensions. So the idea here is that you pull up to your campsite, you see which side is low, and typically what I'll do is I'll put a wedge under it, an Anderson leveler, and I'll drive forward while watching this until it hits zero, and then I'll put on my brake, and sometimes I have to move back and forth. So we'll have it level left to right within no time when we're parking it, and then I'll unhook, and then I'll pull the app back up, and I'll lift the tongue or lower it until it's level front to rear. This makes it super easy to level your camper. So the only thing left to do is to go remove that jack from the wheel. So that's how you set up leveling on the Rangy One Core. That's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.